The United States is extremely large, but despite its population of 341 million, more than half of the country is empty. It's remarkable that New York City has a larger population than the following nine states combined. Even though certain states have breathtaking landscapes, few people live there due to their distance and lack of employment opportunities. Discover the wonders buried between harsh mountains and boundless pastures. Let's look at why nobody lives in these empty states. Alaska. At more than 665,000 square miles, Alaska is the largest state in the Union in terms of land area. It is so huge that the combined area of the next three largest states, Texas, California and Montana, is exceeded. Alaska is home to slightly over 730,000 people, making it the least populated state overall. With an average of roughly one person per square mile, it has the lowest population density of any state. It is approximately 2,700 miles from Alaska's easternmost point to its westernmost point, or about the same distance as it is from New York City to Los Angeles. It's so big, even if you cut it in half, each half would still be by far the largest state. However, most of it is unreachable and out of sight, even though it covers 665,000 square miles. It takes 40 hours and 2,200 miles to drive through remote Canada to get to the closest US city that isn't in Alaska. Juneau is Alaska's state capital of Alaska, and it is situated in the southeast of the state. It is the only state capital that can only be reached by boat or airplane and is inaccessible by road. Alaska is known as the last frontier because of its immense wildness and isolated position. Denali, the highest mountain in North America, with a summit elevation of 20,310 feet, is located in Alaska. Numerous glaciers, including the largest glacier in North America, the Bering Glacier, may be found in Alaska. Vermont. Vermont, which has just 0.6 million people, is a great place to live if you love the woods and the feel of a small town. The Green Mountain state of Vermont has the second lowest number of people living there. Vermont has more than 20 ski areas, but only eight McDonald's. This demonstrates that the state values outdoor activities as well as a slower pace of life. Early settlers were drawn to the lush hills and fertile valleys, but the steep terrain made it hard to farm on a large scale or build crowded towns. Granite mining led to short-term booms, but it didn't really boost long-term population growth. Vermont's long, harsh winters may turn off people who want warmer weather and lower heating costs, even though the state is beautiful. People in the area even joke that it's six months too early for summer and six months from summer. Wyoming. Wyoming is the 10th biggest state, but it has the 50th most people per square mile. That's more than four big European countries put together. This creates huge open areas and beautiful scenery. 
The Yellowstone Park was the first national park in the world and opened in 1872. It has geysers, hot springs, mud pots and many kinds of wildlife. Over 13,000 foot peaks in Grand Teton National Park are home to a lot of wildlife, including moose and elk. The hikes and views are amazing. In 1906, Devil's Tower, a unique rock feature that rises sharply from the plains, was named the first US national monument. The low population density of Wyoming, which has just over 580,000 people, helps give the state a wide open feel. The Triceratops is Wyoming's official state dinosaur of Wyoming. Fossils of this fierce eater were found in the state. Maine. With 1.4 million people living there, Maine is well known for its untamed coastline, deep forests and charming fishing communities. Travellers flock to the state to discover Acadia National Park, savour locally caught seafood and enjoy the peace and quiet of its wilderness regions. Compared to other states, it is less suitable for extensive urban growth because of its enormous rural areas and difficult terrain. Furthermore, compared to more urbanised states with various economies, Maine's economy, which is mostly dependent on industries like agriculture, forestry and fishing, might not offer as many job prospects. Moreover, some people may be discouraged from settling in the state due to its severe winters and rather isolated position. Maine's population is still small despite its natural beauty and abundance of outdoor recreational activities because of a confluence of climatic, economic and geographic circumstances. Montana. With a population of about 1.14 million, Montana is home to the Rocky Mountains and Glacier National Park, two enormous areas of unspoiled wilderness. Visitors who enjoy the great outdoors travel to the state to hike, ski and see animals. Montana's natural attractiveness and attraction are enhanced by its rich Native American heritage and cowboy culture. Montana's large size and rough terrain, which restrict the amount of good land available for development, are the reasons behind the state's low population. The state may not have as many work prospects as more urbanised states with more diverse economies because of its economy, which is mostly based on agriculture, ranching and the extraction of natural resources. Furthermore, people may be deterred from relocating to Montana by its isolated position and severe winters. Rhode Island. The smallest state in the US is Rhode Island, home to 1.09 million people. It has a thriving artistic culture, a gorgeous coastline and a rich history despite its small size. Its quaint towns, interesting historical sites and mouth-watering seafood lure tourists. While other governments made sacrifices for resources or agricultural land, Rhode Island, founded on religious freedom by Roger Williams, attracted a certain type of person. 
its singular beginning influenced its demographic trajectory. Rhode Island's natural borders were constrained by the sea on three sides, which limited its expansion compared to states with expansive frontiers. Although the textile mills were formerly a thriving industrial centre, population growth slowed when the industry went out of business. Here is supposedly where the moniker Little Roadie first surfaced, according to some. The vibrant downtown area of Rhode Island's capital city, Providence, attracts a different type of tourist than the more rural areas. Rhode Island's higher cost of living and tax rates compared to its neighbours may influence people's decisions to move there. Despite its modest size, Rhode Island is home to many historic landmarks and has a rich history as one of the original 13 colonies. Its appealing features also include its well-known culinary options, lively art scene and gorgeous coastline. Delaware. Despite being the second smallest state, Delaware has the longest coastline to area ratio of any state since its entire eastern border borders the Atlantic coast. This corresponds to a state that is home to more than 28 miles of beaches. Delaware tucked away between big states like Maryland and Pennsylvania, serves as a crossroads of cultures and histories. With just 1.04 million residents, Delaware provides a variety of picturesque beaches, quaint coastal villages, and a rich historical background. Despite its rich history, Delaware, a historically significant state, has a very small population and is one of the smallest states in the US in terms of land area. It may be little, but it made history in 1787 when it ratified the United States Constitution. There is less room for expansion and habitation due to its tiny land area. Furthermore, Despite its diversity, the state's economy could not have as many work prospects as those of larger states with more expansive industries. Delaware's closeness to major cities like Philadelphia, New York City and Washington DC may also influence some residents' decision to commute from nearby states rather than live there. The state is a popular destination for retirees and enterprises due to its favourable tax policy, scenic coastline, rich history and low population. South Dakota With only 0.92 million people living there, South Dakota is known for its breathtaking natural beauty, which includes the enormous Badlands National Park and the well-known Mount Rushmore. Even though South Dakota is 177% larger than Florida, there are fewer people living there than in Jacksonville. Native American groups that lived in the wide grasslands did well for many generations, leaving a lasting mark on how people settled in the future. Even though the Great Plains wanted to attract more people, the harsh winters, lack of resources and restrictions on the Homestead Act kept many people from staying there forever. Large-scale mechanical farming took the place of family farms. This meant that fewer people were needed to work the land, which had an impact on rural areas. 
Gold runs sometimes caused temporary population booms, but when resources ran out, people were forced to leave, leaving behind ghost towns. New Hampshire. With a population of over 1.4 million, New Hampshire is home to some of the most beautiful natural settings, such as the White Mountains and Scenic Lakes. Despite being the fifth smallest state, New Hampshire features 18 miles of Atlantic coastline, which includes seaside communities and maritime history. With the lowest overall sales tax in the United States, New Hampshire attracts citizens and businesses looking for fewer tax burdens. With more than 100 covered bridges still intact, New Hampshire is known as the covered bridge capital of the world. Now let's discuss the low population factors. The state's economy is mostly dependent on sectors like manufacturing, tourism and technology, which could not offer as many job prospects as those in other states with more varied economies. The frigid winters and brief summers of New Hampshire may discourage some people from deciding to call the state home. All things considered, a confluence of physical, economic and climatic variables makes New Hampshire one of the least populated states in the Union. Will you respond to the call for silence next? These void states might not be suitable for everyone, but for those who pay attention, they offer experiences that are unmatched. It's your decision to continue being inquisitive and investigating. Thanks for watching the video. 